lot of growers and a lot of agronomists and a lot of farmers don't realize that the first big fertilizer that was managed in Western Canada wasn't nitrogen, it was phosphorus. And then the second big fertilizer that was identified and managed in Western Canada uh, wasn't nitrogen necessarily, it was sulfur. And uh, so in the whole scheme of things, if you talk about the relative amounts that a crop needs uh, to uh, obtain the yield goals that you wanted to obtain, yeah, nitrogen's king, potassium's queen, phosphorus comes along as the prince, and then sulfur maybe comes along as the darling child. But again, it all depends on your circumstance. If you're in a sulfur deficient area, is nitrogen more important, most important or is sulfur most important? Because if you don't add them in balance, you don't get the result that you should get. So, in the whole scheme of things, we always talk about sulfur as being the fourth most important macronutrient. But in reality, in a lot of circumstances, it's, uh, it's much more important than that. It's part of the reason why when we look at the tissue tests we looked at today, the first ratio we looked at is nitrogen to sulfur ratios. It's a critical, critical relationship in a plant. Um, particularly when we start talking about protein development and all that sort of stuff. There's two essential amino acids, methionine and cysteine, that are sulfur-based. Methionine is sort of the gatekeeper to the production of all of the other amino acids. So if you're short in sulfur, you have a problem in, in the formation of all of the other uh, amino acids in that plant. And so a crop like canola in behind me needs an N to S ratio of about 6 to 1 when that crop is growing. Wheat or barley will be more like a 10 to 1. Peas, uh, legumes, legumes for our American friends needs about an 8 to 9 to 1. Um, so the, that is a very, very critical uh, ratio that we need to be cognizant of in all of the crops we grow. And unfortunately, um, somehow that, that gets missed even today in much of North American agriculture.